Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Women in Astronomy, we are going to talk about Vera Rubin and look at her contributions to astronomy. So let's take a look at this here and Vera Rubin lived from 1928 through 2016. She was born in Pennsylvania in the United States and studied at Vassar College. And then she later received her doctorate from Georgetown University. Now her scientific work starting with her PhD thesis determined what she found was that galaxies formed groups. So galaxies tended to cluster together. This was an idea that really wasn't considered by others for another couple of decades after her doctorate was granted. Now what that means is that we thought previously that galaxies were all spread out pretty much uniformly throughout the universe. And what she'd found was that they were clumping together and that galaxies formed into clusters of galaxies. Now this is the basis of what we understand today. Galaxies form into clusters, those group into superclusters, which become filaments and, void, and voids in the grand uh, structure of the universe. So she was one of the first to come up with that. And it would be a couple of decades before the rest of the scientific community and the astronomical community caught up with that. Now, one of the things she is best known for is a study of galaxy rotation curves. What is a galaxy rotation curve? Well, we can take a look at one here. It essentially looks at the velocity of the stars as compared to their distance. So we look at the velocity here, higher velocity up toward the top, distance from the center of the galaxy moving toward the right. Now, what you expect to happen is that the speeds will increase and then we'll, we'll slowly reach a peak and then we'll eventually drop off. That's what we'd expect from typical gravity. That is, you get outside most of the mass that they would fall off. What we were finding, though, was something quite different, that there was a gap between what we expected to see here and what we actually observed up here, and that instead of decreasing, that it kept continuing to rise. Those velocities continued to rise. This led us to the understanding of what we could now call dark matter. What does it mean? Well, we came up that there has to be more material around these galaxies. That's the only way to explain these rotation curves. Well, one of the ways to explain them. The other explanation is that our understanding of gravity is completely wrong and that things like Newtonian gravity and general relativity simply don't work correctly on such scales. So if you accept general relativity as gravity, then we need dark matter. We need some amount of matter and in fact a lot of matter outside the visible disk of the galaxy in order to explain why the stars keep moving faster and faster and faster even as you get farther away from the galaxy. Again, we'd expect them to slow down. They're not. They're actually speeding up and that tells us that there has to be far more matter. So that really tells us that there is this dark matter there and Vera Rubin was really one of the original discoverers of this dark matter that is now believed to make up most of the matter in the universe. Now one other thing to mention as well that she'd looked at was evidence for galaxy mergers. And that was through counter rotation of the stars. So normally when you'd look at a galaxy like our Milky Way, a typical spiral galaxy, the stars in the disk are all rotating the same direction. But if you found evidence of counter rotation, stars moving against the regular rotation, that could be sign that galaxies merge together. And that as they collided, then some if the galaxy was moving in an opposite direction, you might see that and that was evidence for galactic mergers. And that's how we believe now that galaxies evolve from much smaller galaxies in the distant past to the larger spiral and elliptical galaxies we see today. And then we also want to mention uh, she was the second woman to receive the gold medal of the Royal Astronomical Society in 1996. So let's go ahead and finish up and summarize a little bit about what we've looked at here. And what we've talked about was that Vera Rubin was born in Pennsylvania in 1928 that she showed in her PhD thesis that galaxies clumped together. 
and she studied rotation curves which contributed to this discovery of dark matter in the universe which makes up the vast majority of matter and is something completely different than the ordinary matter. And that means the protons and the ordinary atoms that we're used to looking at this dark matter is something completely different that makes up most of the material in the universe. So that concludes this discussion on Vera Rubin. We'll be back again next week to talk about another woman in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.